praise the Lord. This is Sister Vanessa of the Lord's Name is to be Praised Ministry. God bless you. How you doing, everybody? God is so good all the time. We're going to go into uh, uh, some several scriptures in the Bible today, and we're going to um, praise the Lord. We're going to talk about a blind, I mean, uh, these men, there were ten lepers, and they have leprosy. And, you know, leprosy is, is serious. That's a serious skin condition that it kills your, your nervous system. Praise the Lord. So we'll talk a little bit more on that. And then we got, and then we're going to talk about the, the we're going to talk in the third chapter of Acts, chapter one through whatever the Lord lead us to. But the first one is in, um, let's praise God. The, the first one we're going to talk is in uh, Luke chapter 17, verse 11 through 19. Get your Bibles out. Read along with me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Father, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for your goodness and mercy. We thank you for all that you've done and what you're going to do. Lord God, as you look out on the audience, name by name, one by one, Lord, have your way. Look on our young people, Lord. Oh, God, look on all people, Lord God. Those that are listening, new listeners, are, oh, God, as you to save today, encourage and, and encourage the saints even more, Lord God. Oh, God, we thank you for, look on our, our leaders and the, the presidents and governors and oh God have your way draw us closer Lord I ask you to uh, have your way Lord God let your will be done Lord God put a hedge around us Lord with the uh, coronavirus and all these different sickness things that are around us that we don't see it's because of you are things that we the person don't receive some of these things because of you have intervened put your arm protecting up on us Lord God and bless and have your way anoint the word give me what to say and how to say it Anoint the word. Open up my understanding of your precious word. Oh God, in Jesus' name, but word, let the word be applied to my heart that I might not sin against thee. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello. Hi, Vanessa. Okay, we're going to go into, get your Bible out. And it's good. This is your textbook, you know. Um, Matthew chapter 17 and uh, verse 11 through 19. We're going to talk about the ten leopards. And, I, and uh, praise God. And uh, everything we need, I take this off. But everything we need is in the Lord. We're complete in Him. Praise the Lord. And uh, it's a difference. These people were, um, these these men were Samaritans. And that was, these were uh, Samaritans or people that Jews consider as being dogs and the half Jews. They were uh, Gentile, you know, and Jews. It, it, it mixed. I should say, but praise God, and uh, and they didn't they couldn't didn't get along. It was hostility, hostility. Didn't get along at all. So praise the Lord. We got a lot of hostility going on, and but you know God is in com complete control. Hallelujah. And but they they had they were considered as dogs. They didn't care for them. They didn't even want to walk through their city if it was a shortcut to get to their home. They were, you know, deviate, go around. They didn't want to be nowhere near them. But, uh, okay, uh, Luke chapter, Luke chapter 17. I'm finding it with you. And we're going to talk about the, the ten lepers. Okay. We got a couple more pages. Okay. Here we go. Here, I'm here. So I hope everybody else got the, it's on the same page. And we're going to read starting down at the, 11th verse okay okay this is, and, and and it came to pass this is uh jesus is going to travel go through through samaria and it came to pass as he went to jerusalem that he passed through the midst of samaria and galilee samaria is is, a, is a, uh, where the samaritans were living and the galilee was is uh Praise God! It's Monterey. It's the upper and lower part of Galilee, and so they, uh, it's like a little mountainous area of Natalie. Praise God! In uh, the, the northern side of Israel. Okay, but he's traveling. He's, tra he's going to cut right through there. God, when God cut right through something, He has a purpose. You know, He has a plan. I, I'm studying about uh, Silas and Paul, how they went to jail. And uh, they they didn't do anything wrong, but they went to jail, 
uh, and you know, some, and it was a jailer there who gave his life to the Lord and uh, his family. So, God, some situations happen in life. We just write, God had a Christian person right as a witness to witness for him, right where he uh, to guide it, to guide it right to you, and uh, or someone that needs to give their life to the Lord. You know, there's no. Uh, Everybody, Bible said, the grace of God has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly love. We should live soberly and godly in this present world. So God has someone directing, someone directly in need, direct one of the saints in need. Like I was thinking about Saul, Silas and Paul, how they, well, I didn't com complete that, but they were arrested uh, because of the, they cast the, uh, the devil out of a, a woman that was sorcery, uh, fortune teller. And I, I think it was uh, Paul must have cast the devil out of her, and they got arrested. And because the man that her boss was would not make any more money with fortune telling, and that's not. But anyway, they ended up going to prison, and it was God's plan, right, for the Paul and Silas to sing praises and glorify God, even though the place it was an earthquake and everything uh, when they, when they prayed. And uh, but it was right where uh, someone that heart was ready to accept Christ. Praise God. Let me go back into here. These are the ten lepers. We put in us, you know, God has someone use uses us with his vessels to get the word out. Encourage people. There's hope in this present hope in Jesus in this present world. Men is born of a few days and full of troubles to spark fly upward. You know, and we have to give it to the Lord and trust him with our, with our whole heart, soul, mind, and strength, with everything. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, uh, you know, we can't work nothing out. I'm trying to cut this thing off, but I don't want the, the sound to be keep going on. But, um, yeah, here it is here. Okay. And, um, okay. The ten lepers. Praise God. Jesus. Verse 11. Came to pass as he went to Jerusalem. He passed through the midst of Samaria. He went through, right? He went through. Because the Jews, would, they, they wouldn't have went through Samaria. They would have went around it. But God, God, God is God aware over everybody, all souls is his. And Jews uh, wouldn't pass through because they would feel like they would be contaminated just going through the town of the the, uh, the Gentiles. Just couldn't get along. Praise the Lord. And so but we can ready to see some people how act in faith. Okay. Verse eleven. And it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem, Jesus, that he passed through the midst of in the middle of Samaria and Galilee. And he entered into a certain village. He went to a certain village there. And he met ten men. These men had lepers. They were lepers. That means they had leprosy. And, and if you had, a person had leprosy, they had to get leave a house from their family. And, and they, they had to go outside the city and live. They had to be so many, uh, a long distance away from people because it was contagious. And uh, and uh, I think it went through, trans, uh, you can transport it through uh, uh, uh to, I guess like we do, like with the, uh, with this virus that's going on by, uh, you know, we travel in the air. Praise the Lord. But anyway, they had to, the, they had to leave their home for good and, and go out to, go outside the city. Praise the Lord. And so, um, because their nervous system would, would, would die, would break, would, would damage the nervous system where they couldn't feel they were hurting themselves, and so they would evidently would lose pieces of, leave, um, would lose limbs. Praise God. And, uh, and then, uh, praise God, until eventually, you know, of course, it would destroy the body. But they, nowadays they have what's called Henson, Henson disease, which they're able to treat it and arrest that uh, uh, from for destroying the body. And praise the Lord. God has given the men knowledge to, to deal with that. Uh, praise the Lord. And it's like a six to a year treatment that the person take to arrest that where they can live a normal life. But back then there was, you had that, you might just, you have to leave, forget, leave your children and your family because if you didn't, you contaminate, you would, they would get the same disease that you had. Okay, but, and then people, as they approach you and didn't know you had it, you had to say, unclean, unclean. You had you couldn't uh, you had to speak up. Praise the Lord. And they spoke to Jesus. They were from a distance. Verse twelve. And as they entered into a certain village, there met him. They were at a distance. Ten lepers, which stood afar off. See, they were in hopeless situation. 
very little hope. None. No hope. And which stood far off. They were distant from Jesus. And and then when they saw and when he saw them, when Jesus saw them, the, t the ten lepers, he said to them, I'm sorry, I missed the verse, verse 13. Sorry. Okay, verse 13, and they lifted their voice. Because, they, man, they saw Jesus so far off. When they, they were far away from him. And so uh, they lifted their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy upon us. You know, when you give somebody, a person getting mercy, they don't get what they really deserve. You, you, you're giving them a, uh, you're not giving them a, yeah, mercy is what you're getting, what you don't deserve. When people are just kind and show mercy and let you pass, you know, get a, go ahead and let that. I ain't gonna worry about that. What you did, I forgive you. But God went on. He had mercy on those people. He love and mercy. Praise God. And uh, verse seven, uh, twelve. Okay. And he entered to a certain village. Okay, I'm sorry. Thirteen. And okay, I think I've read that. I know I read that. And they and they said, Master, have mercy on us. You know, we didn't, de you know, deserve, but Lord, can you give us mercy? And so, and when he saw them, Jesus said to them, go show yourself unto the priest. You know, they had a, there was a ceremony in the fortune chapter of Le uh, uh, Leviticus uh, that a person had to, you know, if they felt like they had the the, uh, the leprosy or there was a, a test or test or something that a uh, ceremony procedure that the, that the priest had to do. And so Jesus told him, told those those ten uh, um, the leopards to go show yourself unto the priest. You know, they did exactly what he said. You know, when God speak, do like he says. You know, he's speaking to people's hearts now. People that haven't accepted Christ. And those, you know, when God speaks to your heart, you obey him. The Bible says, uh, the day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. It's in the provocation. You know, he don't provoke God to anger, provocation, to provoke him to anger. But he's angry at the wicked every day. And we as saints of God, we need to be obedient when the Lord speaks to our mind. And I mean, to speak to us because there's a spiritual warfare in there, in your mind. Uh, that's where the enemy, the war is in the mind. Okay, go show yourself unto the priest. This is what Jesus said. And you know what they did? It came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. As they did what Jesus told them to do. They left and uh, went to the priest. And as they left, they were cleansed. God healed them. And one of them, when they went to the priest and, and had the ceremony, purification, whatever the procedure was, the priest had to do. It's in Leviticus 14 to, to uh, show that they were clean. And uh, they were cleansed. And they were clean. And one of them came back. And one of them, which he saw that he had healed, turned back with a loud voice, and he glorified God. You know, God wants to praise him. He wants to praise him before the uh, ahead of time, before the victory is over. You know, you I mean, uh, the way to the victory is over before you praise him, praise him. But this 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 one of just one of all the, the ten that were in trouble, that were in bad shape, wouldn't be able to see their family anymore. Wouldn't be able to see their uh, wife anymore. Wouldn't have no normal life. All of them should have came back and gave God and gave God the glory and praise. But only one came back. Praise God. I mean, if somebody's body is just sick and uh, the nervous system is is, is out. It's, it, it damages the nervous system, and uh, pieces of your body could pieces could just fall off and you know make you look deformed or or disfigured. They all up. Wait, that sound. That's horrible. But God, but God, God healed them. They went on. They did what the Lord told them. They only one came back and gave God the glory. And none of them, verse fifteen, when he saw that he, he was healed, turned back, and with a loud voice he glorified. Just one of them did that, and he fell to. He went down. He he fell down on his face to the feet of Jesus. And he, he was a Samaritan. This is the, the this is the one that he had faith, and the other ones had faith that they went to, they did what the, Jesus told them to do, and they went to the priest. But only one came back, praise God, and uh, he he came back and glorified God. He fell to he, he fell to his feet, Jesus' feet, giving thanks, giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan, Samaritan, praise God. And Jesus answered and said, Were there not ten cleansed? Weren't there ten cleansed? 
but uh, where are they where are the nine praise god there are there are not found the, uh, that return to give glory save the strangers only one came back to give god the glory and jesus told him to arise go thy way thy faith has made thee whole praise the lord hallelujah you know when god speaks you, we, we do exactly what man shall live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. We, when God speaks, we obey His word, and we love Him. We keep His commandments. We, we praise the Lord. The love of God constrained us. They, they didn't even question God when God told them to go and go uh, show thyself to the priest. Nobody was questioning. Said, "Oh, look, well, how's that going to work? I don't know this." And, and no, they, it's a faith move, and they walked by. They went. They they left by faith. And had faith in God's word, and they all left. But only one came back to to give God the glory and God the praise. He even they came to Jesus and bowed down on on, on the floor, on the on the ground. So thank the Lord, thank God for that. And then we're gonna go to the second reading. I'm gonna see how the Lord helped me to put this both of them together. But we don't. Whenever the Lord speaks to our heart, and it's of the Lord, it's based on you know, we need to be obedient obedient children the blessing behind that praise God and then we're serving the Lord uh, Acts chapter 3 remember that we were chapter 2 when the disciples were, wait, were, were up in the upper room they were waiting uh, for the Holy Ghost praise God to come upon them you know they wait for this comforter to come praise God chapter 3 um, second one. now you got yeah, you get your Bible, you get you try to find chapter Acts at uh, chapter three, Acts Yeah, Acts chapter three. Praise God. We're here. Verse one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, this the previous chapter. I think I'll read a few verses from the second uh chapter two of Acts chapter two, starting at forty one. That they that gladly received his word were baptized Paul is is I mean Peter is is ministering to the, this is his first sermon here. And uh, praise the Lord. And I think I'm, uh, yeah, better Leah. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to, I think I'm going down to 44. Mmm, praise God. Praise the Lord. I think I better let that, I have to, okay. I'm trying to, I was trying to find something in particular, but I can't find it. Okay, let me just go to three. Now Peter and John went up together. They were going to the temple at the ninth hour prayer. They have uh, three prayers. I think it's three well, I think it's 9, 12, and 3. Prayer. Praise God. And uh, they went to the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. Praise God. And that was 3 o'clock. That was the ninth hour. And a certain man lame, he was he, he, he was he was crippled. Couldn't walk at all. Unable to walk. He had a problem with his, it said his ankle and feet. And he was born that way. Praise God. Hallelujah. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb, he was born whom whom they lay daily. He had to he had to be picked up and brought to the the, uh, the temple. And, uh, and and he was at the gate called Beautiful. And he would just ask for alms. That means he was he would ask for money, you know, because that was praise the Lord. And it would take him every day down there to the temple of Beautiful called Beautiful. At this point in time, Jesus already had a. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, the the, the uh, disciples. They they received. Uh, they were filled with the Holy Ghost in chapter two, and uh, there was the day of Pentecost that had really come, and there's 120 people waiting on the Lord, you know, to send that Holy Ghost down and praise God, because Jesus had to leave first before the Holy Ghost would come. Praise God, and it's a Comforter, and this temple, this body that we're in, is the temple of God. And, uh, the, and he dwells in the temple when we accept Christ. And we're baptized by God's Spirit into the body of Christ. And accepting Jesus in our heart. So that he's the gospel, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. But 120. His mother was there too. Mary. Mother, his mother Mary. So this is brought boldness to the uh, disciples that were there. Praise God. But they're at the temple. They're on their way to the temple. And Peter and John, they, they went to, you know, at the temple already okay don't want to repeat myself too much okay there's at the gate laid this man and this is and god's got something for this man god has something special for each and every one of us he can give he gonna give him a better it's gonna be better than money where he can be able to move uh 
And here we have our, uh, 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 we live and move and have our being. He was able to, uh, we we'll, we'll read on down and see what happened. This is better than the money that he's asking for. Verse 3, he saw Peter and John about to go, they were ready to go into the temple and ask, and, and to the temple, and he asked them for alms. He wanted money. He was in bad shape, couldn't get up. And so, and so he was carried, a man carried. And four, and Peter looked and fastened his eyes upon him with John. And he said, Look on us. He fastened his eyes upon the man and said, Look on us. And then the man took heed. And he looked on him, expecting to receive something of them. He's expecting to get money, but he got something better. I tell you, then, G, then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, such as I have, I give unto thee. In the name of, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise and walk. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Praise God. Hallelujah. Right. Power in the name of Jesus. Glory. I don't have any money. He was, he was expecting something, but he got something better. And uh, in the name, in the name of Jesus, praise God, of, Na of Nazareth, rise and walk. And he took him by his right hand, and he lifted the man up. And you know, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. God healed this man. Feet and ankle bones they received strength praise god and you know the man he he leaped up he was he leaped up leaping up praise god walked and entered with him he went to the temple with him and he was so he was he was praising god he was leaping and walking and praising god he never walked before and he was just giving god the glory and all the people saw him walking and praising God, you know, just glorifying the name of the Lord. And they knew that they knew that was the man that would sit out begging for arms, you know, wanting money. That was at the gate called Beautiful. And uh, at the temple, they were all surprised and wonder and amazed and, and what about what happened to this man. They got in there and the lame man that was lame was healed. And he was so happy, he was he held Peter and John. And all the people ran together. It was a circle of people, a crowd of people around Peter and John. Praise God. Uh, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon Greatly Wondering. So he had a crowd. It's preaching time for Peter. Thank the Lord. God is so good. I know we all can, we have to give God the glory and give God the praise. I tell you, whatever he does, and if, even when we, we we make our requests, make our requests known unto the Lord, you know, we, we, we make a, give him our petition because we know he's going to work things out for, for us. All things work together for the good for them to love God, which are called according to his purpose. God has a purpose. Praise God. Uh, but this man, uh, uh, verse 12, and when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, let the people know, do you think this, this man got healed is because of something about us, our doings. Oh no, they are really, you know, they're really mistaken. Let me read it like he said. And when Peter saw it, he he answered unto the people because people were marvel. They marvel. They were so surprised to see that he was healed. You know, praise God. Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look so so earnestly on us as though looking, you know, seriously looking at these people? Looking at Peter and John like real serious, like did they have something to do with this man getting healed. Earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk. Don't look at us. Well, I had nothing to do with this. Praise God. And verse 13 The God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his son Jesus, whom you delivered up. You know, you had him crucified. Praise God. And denied him in the presence of Pilate. Pilate didn't want, he wanted to release him. But he wanted him to die. And the Pharisees were jealous. They envied Jesus. And it was in God's plan the way that he died. Praise the Lord. He died for the sins of the world. Thank God. He hung on that cross for our, our, with our sins. And he was, he was, uh, he was uh, 
holy sacrifice. But he carried our sins. It was so bad. It was so God had to, uh, uh, Father and God in heaven had to turn away for her son as he was on the cross carrying us our sins. God can't stand sin. Praise God. And but he denied the Holy One and you know they rejected Christ. Praise God. And the just and desire murderer. You rather release Barabbas. Bar hmm. Goodness. Okay. Praise God. Hallelujah. And uh and verse 15, and kill the prince of life, whom God has raised from the dead, whereof ye are witness. You know this is, you witness this. You know it's true. Praise God. And and this, and his name, through faith, as this man had faith in his name, he believed, he believed God. He believed God. Praise God. And his name, through faith in his name, has made this man strong, whom ye see and know. Yea, the faith which is by him has given him the perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Praise God. Praise God. Just trusting in the Lord, putting your faith in his, you know, without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he's a reward of them, them that does diligently seek him. We was looking at the ten lepers. God had blessed those lepers, told them, told them to go see the priest. That's all he said. And all ten, all ten lepers were, they they turned and went to see the priest, and God healed them. They were all, all ten lepers were healed, and so that um, one of them came back to thank the Lord. He had to have faith and trust the Lord. This man here, at the temple, when uh, Paul, uh, Peter told this man that he didn't silver and gold have I none, such as I have I give unto these in the name of Jesus Christ and that is rise and walk. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise and walk. And he had faith to to believe. And he, he, he and Peter took his right hand and the, and the man's ankle. He imagined that ankle and foot healed. And the man just didn't just stand up. He leaped up. Praise God. He was so just giving God the glory and praise. Praise God. And uh, praise God. So, uh, and I'm going to go to 19. Repent ye therefore, be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, that the time of reformation shall come from the presence of God. So Jesus, he you know, died for the for God so well the world that he gave his only begotten son. For whosoever believe on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So he said, he got, he preached, Peter was preaching to these uh, Jews here and letting them know, repent therefore and convert, you repent. And God, God had, you know, he, he died on the cross for the sins of the world. Everybody's sins. Praise God. We died, the old man died with Christ. And he rose, we, and God rose his son up. He, he, we, we rose in the newness of life. Trying to be in the right tense. That your sins may be blotted out. How did they get blotted? Because of the blood of Jesus. The blood of our sins washes our sins away. When we accept Christ. We're, uh, we're justified as though we had not sinned. And we're the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. When God looks at his son, he sees, he's, he, he's able to look at us through his son. Praise the right, with the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And his sins may be blotted out. God paid the price for the sins uh, of the world. Praise God. But we have to, this is a gift. Salvation is free. Praise God. You can't do anything to earn it. Uh, you can't do anything. We just have to do what the work, the work that God already had had done on the cross for us praise God that your sins may be blotted out he wants to clean us up and a time of ref refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord it's all the work is from the work is from God praise God hallelujah praise God well God bless you God bless you sister Vanessa we covered in Acts chapter 3 verse and we're gonna I'm gonna God bless you love you keep me in your prayers and we're going to continue to get back in the word so just i'll be on wednesdays and and I, i'm trying to have my uh, upload this broadcast if i can get it done before 12 o'clock and, and if you give me a i want you to uh, if you can give me a um, a thumbs up and you, you probably get a notification each time i upload a, a broadcast and if this is your first time listening to the broadcast i i, I appreciate you listening and uh, my my pastor, well, I'm on uh, Facebook on um, on Sunday teaching Sunday school at 10 o'clock, and I want you to tune in on Facebook, 
and under Vanessa McClendon. And at 12 o'clock, my pastor is on, and he is, and uh, his name is Superintendent uh, Elder Reginald Bradley. He's on 12 o'clock, and he's anointed man in the Word of God. Praise the Lord. And uh, tune him in, listen to him. He's good. He's on uh, Triana Bradley uh, uh, Facebook. And on Tuesday, uh, my the first lady, she just she uh, they had a beautiful Bible study last time, but and they continue to have a beautiful Bible study. But uh, it's uh, it's on uh, Triana Bradley on Facebook, and she's on at 12 o'clock on Wednesday. And I'll be back on. I mean, not Wednesday. She's on Tuesday. Sorry, first lady's on Tuesday. And Lord's on uh, on uh, Facebook. And Lord say so. I'll be back on next week. God bless you. And uh, at about this same time on YouTube. God bless you. So I'm on both both of them. So God bless you, Sister Vanessa. I love you. Keep me in your prayers. Bye bye.